What up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to another Strixhaven draft. One of the things I love about this format so far, and and uh, it's one of the things I like about a lot of, it's one of the things I like about draft formats sometimes, is that you're able to play a lot of different like strategies. Like you can go, you like you can splash things. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Discard an instant or sorcery card this way. That feels like the best card in this pack. There's no removal. And it's a 2 2 with ward. That, like, if you discard, like, one of the big spells, it gets plus three, plus three. So it's five, five for four with ward. Rounded up, actually, it's a six, six. You know what? We'll give it a go. Plus the reverse side is just removal. Oh, Mentor's Guidance is nice. Is that better than Rutha? <sighs> Probably not. Eh, God. We're going to take the Rutha. It's also just nice having a 1-4 for 3. Expressive Iteration. Snow Day is decent. Drawing two, discarding one. Sure, we'll take a Snow Day, actually. Elemental Masterpiece is a banger. Igneous Inspiration is even more of a banger. Let's take the banger. Let's take the, the more of a banger. You guys, are you guys still there? I feel like the viewership's getting going real. It's being real, real finicky today. Heated debate. Let's take that. I like rip apart, but it's splashing two on color lands and an elemental masterpiece. I hope one of those comes back. That would be fantastic. Well, I think it's just Prismari Pledge Mage here. Could actually pillar drop warden actually. I think I want more two drops. I think I just want to guarantee myself having some some number of two drops. I don't hate a curate here. It might be worth just actually taking this to splash, to be quite honest. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I just want to splash both, like, Eureka Moment and Return Pass Caller because I think they're very, very good. I do think I want... Maybe I just want the Elemental Summoning. Like, this is just great. We need to splash one white for it, but it's a 4-2 flyer that... Yeah, I'm just going to take it. Yeah, lesson. Sweet. And now we can take Lorehold Campus. Oh, I'll take the Elemental... Ah. Uh, I'm going to take the campus. I'd rather have a guarantee way to cast this. Mm, take a five drop. Oh, Lorehold campus number dose. Okay. See, now I'm feeling good about it. Now we could have taken that rip apart. Lots of things. Are you guys, are you guys still there? Hello? Is anybody there? 
No one's saying anything in 11 minutes is super tilting. Because I'm like, is the stream still live? And then someone's in the chat's like, I guess I'll just say something. It's getting pathetic, so I'm just going to say something. No, I'm not here. Well, dang it. I left too? Oh my god. Always lurking. B. Alright, you guys are... This guy's actually playable. This is only pack two? That pack one felt deep. I like divide by zero. I don't care about Retriever Phoenix that much. Like, the thing is, like, when I learn, I'd rather just learn than go 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> I think Divide by Zero might be better than Frost Trickster. It also, like, if you go Divide on 3 and then uh, Torrent Sculptor on 4, it is a 4-4 four, four because you round this up to 2. So, I mean, 4-4 four, four on 4 is with Ward is fine. I mean, it looks like it should be flying because these clearly look like wings in the picture, but, you know, what What are you going to do? Eh. I got excited because it looks like it looks like a dragon on a card because it is. It's a dragon on a card. But it's not a dragon card. And so instead, we're just going to take Creative Outburst, which is a decent... Phoenix has been a banger for you? Well, that's interesting. Like, it's just... As a 2-2 two, two for 2, like, when there's 2-3s three and 3-3 three, three flyers, pretty pretty prevalent, like... It feels like it's not going to be great. Plus, like, again, if I'm getting to learn, like, I don't know if I'd rather replace my learn with a... This is just a 2-2 coming back from the graveyard. I'm going to take Frost Trickster here. Oh, second Rutha, Spectacle Mage. What up, Mayhem? What up, Horthrax? Horthax? Uh, I don't think it's second Rutha. I think I'd rather just have a, another 2-2 flyer. Shut up and take my money. Oh, oh, Kerr with five B-Bucks. Five B-Bucks. See, I don't like either Helix, too. That's a... Okay, I guess we're taking this guy now because we have yet to do so. Or it could be second Frost Church. We have a lot of three drops right now. This is only pack two. Yeah, we'll take on the Frost Tricks there, sure. Top five Elder Dragons, go. Non Nikki B, please. Top, I mean, it's only, it's only 10, right? The second one of these guys is pretty decent. I mean, top five non Nickel Bolas. Um. Ooh, pop quiz. I like a pop quiz. Are we just talking about, like, preference or power level? It's got to be preference, right? Well, it's only 13 if you don't count Nikki B. Because Nikki B, all, the, all of the, the new ones, there are five new ones, and there are two each of the old ones. Right? No, there's three each of the old ones. This is confusing. Because don't forget you're you're probably you're probably leaving out the legends ones. So we have the five in this set that are enemy colored. We have the five allied colored from cons, 
and then we have the five uh, shard colored from uh, one of the M sets, I guess. No, there's actually 10 tricolored ones. You're, you're forgetting the Legends ones. There are two copies of, like, Nicol Bolas. Yeah, that's good. Same if you just search for, like, Elder Dragon. Actually, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do it because it's a creature type, not a. Then you go here and you're like type line elder dragon. And search, and then you have twenty. I screwed this question all up. No, it's fine. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm mostly just giving you a hard time for forgetting the OG like legends versions of the cards, which aren't even that good to be honest with you. So, are there gonna be two drops? You think? I haven't seen many, but we're going to take heated debate here, I think. Instead of like, yeah, I mean, heated debate's just banging. I kind of like Growth Spiral, but we're not, we're not playing that, so it doesn't matter. I guess we take Illustrious Historian or Soothsayer Adept. Actually, I like a Soothsayer Adept a little better. Mostly you just want to survive, I think. I would take Rip Apart, but we have two Heated Debate and Ignis Inspiration so far, so I'm kind of fine. I'd rather just have guys on the ground. Oh, Elemental Masterpiece. I do like having one of these. Oh, Arden Dust Speaker, though? Jeez. I think we're taking the Dust Speaker. The Dust Speaker just actually wrecks me every single time someone plays it against me. I mean, I'm sure when they when I play it against them, they're gonna have removal for it. But you know, that's that's life, I guess. Um, yeah, two drop, sure. Take a wormhole serpent. It's just a three lands and twenty nine. So we have three cuts so far. I would like one more lore hold to campus just to make it easier. Ugin is not officially an elder dragon. At least not in terms of magic rules. Oh, another frost trickster. Frost trickster number three. Um... Is Ugin the twin of one of them? It's got to be the twin of Nicobolus, right? I can't imagine it's the twin of some random. Okay, but if I had to rank my five my five top uh, Elder Dragons, not including Nicobolus, because I would actually rank Nicobolus relatively high. Wow, Frostrix are number four? Number five? I'm just going to take Rip Apart here because it's good. Oh, Environmental Science is nice. That lets us get that planes. He died too young to be an elder. He was a young and dragon. Okay, so number one would probably be Dragonlord Ojutai. Uh, big fan of Dragonlord Ojutai. Number two would probably be Dragonlord Atarka. Solely because I think he sees a significant amount of play in formats like Cube, and as such, I've played him a good amount. So I would go Ojutai, Atarka. Um, number three would probably be chromium i think chromium was a pretty sweet win condition um back in the day you could have the you could play chromium in the in the esper control decks and that was pretty sweet so that's three Four would probably be Dragon Lord Silumgar. I 
five? I don't even know if I have a five. I mean, I feel like I'm just, just winging it. I'm just making up a fifth one. Oh, that guy's actually playable. Probably not in this deck, because I think I have like 43 drops, but you know. Oof. So we got seven cuts to make. Okay, hold on. So there are 15, so 14, not including Nicol Bolas. The problem is nine of them, or five of them, I, I don't know enough about to care. And the other four were just kind of meh from M19. You got Palladium Ores, Vevictus Asmati, Arcades, Arcades? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, you know, it's hard to, hard to know. And, uh, well, I guess Nicol Bolas outside of Chromium. So those are those five. And then I said Ojitai, Atarka, and Silumgar. So the only ones, the only ones really left are Dromoka and Kolagon. So I'd probably say Dromoka because I think he's actually pretty sweet. You can search for him with Green Sun Zenith. Or uh or her rather. She's she's pretty sweet. And you can uh search for her with Green Sun Zenith. And also it's actually she's seen playing in older formats as well, so. Okay, let's uh Time's wasting. Cutting this guy because I just don't feel like having... I don't think this guy's going to be... Uh, so how many creatures do we have? I think it's a lot. 19, so we can easily cut both of these. I don't care about them. I don't really care about Vortex Runner. I think we can cut one Frost Trickster. Vortex Runner, Frost Trickster. Do we get environmental? Yeah, we got environmental sciences. We did not get elemental summoning. We did get start from scratch though. So actually not bad. I think we only have two cards. We have Pop Quiz and... Uh, Igneous Inspiration that 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 will learn anyway, so... That seems fine. The Hasty Scry, dude? This guy? I mean, he's just a 3-4 for 5. Like, I think he's actually fine. Especially because we're, like, hitting in the air, so we want, we want guys that have 4 toughness. At least that's my opinion. Because like we have so many, we have three Frost Tricksters, a Spectacle Mage, two Return Pass Callers. So like I kind of just want big butts on the ground that can that can hold down the Fort Arena. I think I just play this like this. We do. Oh, we have two Lorehold Campuses. I thought we only had one. So actually, I'm feeling a lot better about that. I thought it was the other way around. So this is four, five, six, seven, seven. So we're gonna go eight, eight. Which means, I mean, cause we only have three white cards and two of them are six drops. Name your two favorite <laughs> Nephilim. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So eight, nine. And then we have four, five, six, seven. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's, hmm. Okay. Time's wasting. So five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. One, two, three. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Wank the Winchester brother from Sam to Dean. <laughs> I don't know who those are. Are those... Is that from the gun? Or is that from the... I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, if we can include shapeshifters, one of my favorite Elder Dragons is Chameleon Colossus for sure. Okay.
I, I literally thought it was I literally thought it was from Supernatural. That's hilarious. I was gonna be like, is that a Supernatural reference? Because I know there's a Sam and I know there's a Dean on the show. That's okay. Well, I'm actually I'm proud of myself. You know, I did I did good. I'll just take it. Time's wasting. Okie dokie. Well, you know what they say. So this is rounded up, so it'll be two. Discard a card and draw a card. You discard an instant or sorcery. It deals damage. You go to that card's mana cost, right? We don't have one of those. I gotta take three just to tap this dude down. Oh, buddy. Yes, you got it. But to answer your question, no, I've never seen an episode of, of Supernatural. Okay, you got my little bird. That's good. See, look, they're playing three colors too. So, what no problem is, you know? Okay, so this ability is turned off. That's unfortunate. Oh, I guess I gotta pay two for it. This is a six mana card. What the fuck? D wait. I don't understand what just happened. Did they pay the two for this and then not? One, two. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Hmm. See, again, I'm just going to lose the flyers. Like, this is this is what I mean. Yeah, I'm just not sure why they couldn't pay, though. This costs two, so they pay one, two. They put this land into play. They pay two to counter the ability, and then they pay one for the land. So I'm not actually sure. Oh, because they paid. They played Lash of Malice. I don't know why they just didn't let the ability get countered. That's weird, right? This time on when bad cards are good. I'm just gonna block because I don't feel like taking. Eh, actually, no blocks. We'll just take seven here. Okie dokie. Hmm. Well. Okay. So we can actually discard this to kill this guy. We go to four. But they have no cards in hand. Also, now we get Lorehold Campus, and now we get to we get to get back heated debate. All right, that was not bad. So so long as they don't draw something, that's not great. I think we're stabilizing. Oh no! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no! This guy. Wait, what? <sighs> sure.
Oh man, this guy's not gonna trigger because of the stupid strict process. That's unfortunate. I mean, I guess we can wait a turn. Especially because we just get Rutha to double something and that seems way stronger. So they have what? Two creatures, three creatures. I think we're just playing mountain and passing. Oh, we can also scry with lore hold. Oh god, cancel attacks. Jesus. <laughs> Joke's on you, you lost a life. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My pizza was ready as soon as the draft started, so I was still here but couldn't chat. Unbelievable. That is fine. Like, do I just let him bully me? Probably not. I hate this. I hate being in a situation where you're like, I want to land. I think this guy's actually too good to, to pass up, though. No. Gotta. Oh, that'll. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. Oh, but we can double it. Auto pay. Submit. Auto pay. Resolve. Submit. See, that was good. Thank you. Oh, Mayhem, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, that felt really good. <laughs> this is an instant sorcerer. I think all the I think all the lessons are sorceries. Okay, mono squad aggro over here. That's pretty good, but we can't learn anything from it. So this guy can come down. We have two mana left up. I mean, I feel like bouncing this guy is the trick, yeah. What do we get with that? What's big? I guess Snow Day is actually probably pretty sweet. Actually, let's select a card. Oh, we can actually loot. Oh yeah, I like that. That was much better. I seriously, I always forget to loot because I'm like, I'm always wanting to get things from my side. Yep, that card's a banger.
Interesting. Okay, well that's a that's a way to do it. Ashiok Nightmare Muse. That is a long name. I did not think you could have a name that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the space. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I didn't know you could have a 21 character name. It's actually kind of surprising. We'll risk it. Pays off. Well, I got one in that race. I guess we'll just play this as a 2-2. <laughs> yep. Still a, still a win, Drake. Might as well get in there. Do you still play an MTGO? Yeah, whenever there's MTGO formats that I enjoy. I mean, I, I mean, like if I have a cool modern deck or like a older format deck, or, or if there's cube. I've, I mean, I play cubes on there constantly. Like, I literally just play MTGO when there's cubes up. But, like, I'm not going to draft on MTGO, because I think Arena it just has a smoother drafting experience. So why aren't you playing the cube? Is there a cube? There wasn't one yesterday. Now I'm opening it up right now. It also didn't seem to be on the calendar. I checked the calendar, like, two days ago to figure out Pioneer Cube? All right, well, we'll be doing that tomorrow. Oh, you can't target tokens with it. That's right. Yeah, I don't know why you guys didn't tell me sooner. I literally checked. Look, let's look at the let's look at the Magic Online calendar. Let's look. I even said, like, when's the next cube happening? Look, literally doesn't have anything on here. Uh, next to combat. Well, it's always added on Wednesday. Things always go up on Wednesday. So, yesterday. But depending on your time zone, maybe two days ago. Let's look at April. So, uh... No, I definitely don't need Strixhaven content. I've been drafting Strixhaven for like the past two weeks. Um, but yeah, so we got this, uh, got this calendar here. What happened? They buffed their boys. They're double blocking that guy yeah I guess I'm just killing this all right that's fine it was like two for one right like we traded a umbral juke and a defend the campus seems fine uh yeah so we got this calendar and if you look on the 20 on the 28th and 29th 
nothing is there. And I checked this two days ago. And of course, I guess I just have to fucking periodically log into Magic Online. And be like, well, I hope it's there. So, you know, that's... Oh, let's sorry, take this down. <laughs> it's just sitting up there. Anyway, the point is, it's really frustrating. And I don't know how hard it is to maintain a calendar. Like, maybe hire a content manager if you guys can't manage a calendar. Discard card, I'll discard this one. It's dated, I guess. Wow. All right, well, now you gotta have a way to kill this guy, too. They did not. All right. Did you have fun in the match? I did. I did. Asking the person who won is really weird, and then asking, how are you gonna get, what kind of feedback does that even provide? What kind of actionable feedback is that where you're like, well, you lost. Did you have fun? No. Hey, you won. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good times. Oh, yeah. That's not going to do it. You know what? I'll take it just because two drops and three drops. We'll ship creative outburst, I guess. Oh, God. Nice. Living the dream. Yeah, it's just kind of frustrating because I, I think a lot of the point of like me not being interested, like the reason I didn't stream earlier was because like I wasn't super excited about Strixhaven and like I had other things to do. But like if I knew there was a brand new cube up, probably would have done that. If only there was some way that people could check and find out if there's a new cube up. I also logged in yesterday after the update. The client updated on Wednesday. I logged in and there were, th Jesus Christ. And there were three formats and it was like Strixhaven Limited, Strixhaven Phantom Drafts and like something else. And I was like, all right, guess I'll go back to Strixhaven. Is today Friday? What day is it? I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday going on Friday, right? Okay, I'll look at the end. Sometimes you just get there with three islands and nothing else, I guess. Just kidding, we're not gonna get there, but. I mean, they're obviously gonna wreck us here, but we can't cast our spells anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yep, done. 
I don't know, fucking three turns with no lands and three three islands out of our three color deck. It just that doesn't really do anything for me. Boy, every round two seems to go exactly the fucking same, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just like a, it's just amazing. Okay, at least we have two spells we can play with, uh, with any land, and then two more spells we can play with any blue land. This is a sorcery. Interesting. So not as good as a braid in the sense that it braid is an instant. Fascinating. an artifact we have this we have a lot of removal in hand and then two very sizable bodies all we need is lands well, at least next turn we'll have a land And that's really all you can ask for. Okay, I see. Good old graph doggy. So next time we can play this into one of these two, or if we draw a land, we can play the land into our Dusk Speaker, which is nice. And before Negate, they're tapped out, you nerd. All right, it's fine. Well, they got five color deck. Well, I guess it's just Teamer for now with uh, Archway Commons. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get a blue anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Good call. Look how crooked this dude's neck is. Shock. Sure. I saw your post on Facebook about the move. Congrats, Taylor. Me and you and me both. Thanks, Corby. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, we're moving to Fort Collins. Uh, so our first day in the new house is Monday. That's when that's when our lease begins, and our lease at this house ends on June thirteenth. So there's an overlap where we're paying like two months' rent, <laughs> and we can slowly start moving things back and forth. So. Well, they're living the dream now, aren't they? You're the man now, dog. We can literally kill both of these guys and then attack for four. Or we can just kill this and play Prismare. I guess we can't attack for four because this guy is... I'm moving Saturday. I got to move everything in one day. Dude, that's the fucking worst. It is literally the worst.
I'm sorry, what? Oh, you didn't keep up with the right mana. That's super cool. Fantastic. Yeah, we should have just used these. And that's the same thing, right? Is it possible to count both this, this? Yeah, of course. Okay. I guess it's my bad then. Oh, same complex new building sounds decent. That means you can just go back and forth. Going back and forth is the best because like instead of loading every possession I own into one vehicle or one pod or one whatever, uh, it's a lot better to like do it in pieces. Like we're going to rent a U-Haul on Sunday, load a bunch of unnecessary stuff, bring that over on Monday on our first day, and then we'll bring the more ne the more necessary stuff um, closer to when, when, we're, when our lease ends here. Well, that guy's big, isn't he? Time's a wasting. Well. Five damage. T -t today, Junior. Oof, that's a thing, isn't it? Tapping down two of my birds. Tapping down two birds. I'll make sure we don't go to combat before I'm able to. Now my creatures are lethal. I'm gonna get this and deal you one. Got it. That'll do, pig. All right, let's see if we can keep up our our winning streak that's been happening. Uh, excuse me. Or don't. It's up to you. very quiet there we go <laughs> like very silent here on magic online today you know what risk it for the biscuit two removal spells lots of good stuff here
All right, a lot of heated debates here, guys. A lot of heated debates. A lot of... A lot of no lands here. Pop quiz on main phase seems fine. Ooh, yeah. It's not really the land we wanted, but you know what? Any land, any land in a storm, that's what I say. Blue would be great, then we can go Spectacle Mage. We can just kill anything they play, though. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't want it to be this guy, but... Next turn, they make another 4-4. Four, four. I guess we killed that, too. All their cards have been 2-for-1 so far. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> Should have completely expected to get mana screwed in a deck with 9 blue sources. Yep. It's the way of the world. Come on, just give me an island. Thank you. All right, now we're in control. Feeling all right. Four, three, three, four. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. Spectacle mage and rip apart down. Springfield, Springfield. I'm very surprised we've, we're, we're like doing well here. Is this a scry? Is this a main phase scry? That can't be good. We have a name for the shards, wedges, multiple names for the two color pairings. I think it's high time we get flavor names for the single colors. Black, huh? Okay, buddy. Um... This is fine. What do you call that? Blue? You're playing blue? <laughs> okay. Whatever, nerd. It's called Cyan. Yeah, that's a big boy. That is a big, beautiful baby. So what do we just make these unblockable? Can we do that? We got one, two, three, four, five. Now we only have seven. Make one unblockable. That's what I'm Cyan. <laughs> that's... See, that's funny. We're just taking nine here, right? I don't foresee chump blocking being uh, 
necessary just yet when we're at actual 20. Is this any, any target for creature planeswalker? Oh, we didn't scry. Oh, I'm so stupid. God, I'm the actual dumbest, dumbest man to ever walk the earth. Oh, that's so bad. That's the reason we kept this guy up. I would have definitely put this on the bottom. Well, that could be bad. Now we also can't do two things this turn. But now we can make two things unblockable, and that's pretty good. We can also attack for four. But then they just eat our serpent. They have two cards in hand. That one of them... Oh, okay, that's great. Man, you love to see it. I think it's high time. Also, people saying high time is just funny. It's high time we change that. Also, I've been watching Mad Men. We've been watching uh, watching through Mad Men for the first time for them. I've seen Mad Men like four times. It's one of my favorite shows. And uh, <laughs> I, just, I actually love it when they say it like, like they have this 60s language and it's like, oh, fancy that. And you're just like, wow, that's fantastic. I just want, I want to start saying fancy that. All right, four four is gone. Wish I could have made it a five five. But I could. It's always high time. Oh boy. They have one card in hand? Oh yeah, that's a banger. One, two, three, four, five, six. They just get in there with these two these two jabronis. No, this wins next turn. They both win next turn, right? But this way. Doing it this way actually lets us, um, because if we attack with both of these and somehow they have like the plus six plus six or something like double its power two times or some nonsense, like, and then they draw like frost wizard to tap this guy down. Like, I don't want to deal with all that. But now we just go attack for four, make two of these unblockable, I guess. I live in Denver, Christopher. It's always high time here too. <laughs> Christopher, I'm just doing the 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 legal weed world tour where I just move from state to state that has legal weed. And I don't even partake. It's wild. Uh okay, they're dead. Wow, that was that's weird to tap out for that when you know I can just kill you on board, right? This guy doesn't none of these things have reachy reach. That can go. Ugh, kinda just want to do that. That's just more flavorful, right? I just took an island. Whatever. Wow, too low, man. 2-0. Feeling good. I mean, I'm sure our dreams will all get crushed, but that's okay. That's life, you know. Crushing your dreams is just the way it is. All right. Let's see if we can 3-0.
Okay. I'll take it. D wait, I assume you're a last opponent. Good game, if so. If not, good game anyway. Keep it. Let's get this guy into this guy. We're doing it. Oh boy. Nope, just an observer. Oh, well, good game. Good game anyway. <laughs> I always get confused when people in, in the chat say good game because someone's like, were you my opponent? Look at that little terrible bird. Oh, okay. Can I get divide by zero? That'd be cool here. The answer was no. Do you prefer the traditional draft or the premier draft? Um, I, I, what is premier draft? Uh, is premier draft best of one? Because I literally never do best of one if I have the option. Because I think it's garbage. Making your way in the world today. Get a swamp. Go get your swamp. There you go. Good job. What I'd love is they play a creature. I draw a heated, uh, heated, heated spell. I want the heat spell. I kill this, double it, kill another thing. Sounds good. have a spell fucking christ oh boy man <laughs> you're on a bird spear right no okay i don't know this hand turned into this went from really good to really you play until you lose to yeah it's the best of, the best of one it's not i don't know why they call it premiere it's definitely not premiere like, I think people, it's so funny because it's such a classic marketing gimmick where you just stick a bird premiere in front of anything and you're like, well, now it's better. It's not. <laughs> it's like, what's premiere about it? Like, the thing is, you can always get more matches in best of three. Always. You will always have a minimum of six matches in best of three. A minimum. If you go 0-2 in all three rounds, you get six ma six games. If you go 0-3 in best of one, you get three games. You can literally always get double in uh in best of three why didn't i copy that wow that was terrible what a fucking idiot i mean i think i was on my rant about best of one that was terrible That was so bad. So bad, dude. Absolutely backbreakingly bad. We'd still have a 4-2 on board. We'd kill both of their creatures. Ugh, God.
land. Do I even want them to get this back? Oh god. Then they just get something else that's degenerate. Fudge. All right. Well, yeah, we threw this game away. See, at least I can't blame the shuffler this time. It's not even worth playing this out after that stupid rip apart play. I'm just mad at myself, really. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Yeah, I was just, I was just, I was just throwing the game for him. I was like, you know what? I'll give you this one. Oh, yeah. Now we have a, a spell for this guy to get back. We have a spell to trigger this guy. We're doing it. Play something. Is there really want to waste a heated debate on that? God. Probably not. You gotta take the you gotta take the bird, right? I mean one of these leaves me with two burn spells, one of these leaves me with two burn spells and a four four or a four two. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Wait a minute. We're just going to do this now in case they have any shenanigans. Another blue source. We can play this guy for four. Well, they know I'm going to kill that dude, right? So... Yeah, 
there's no world where I let that guy gain you any life when I'm when I'm really putting the pressure on the way I am. Okie dokie. Let's go to four here, huh? Eliminate. Sure. Oh man, they're gonna make this guy huge. Wow. Seems good. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh! So they're just dead, right? Okie dokie. Solid draw. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of little shitty birds that get big. What do we think of that? I almost kind of like Lord Relic Sloth here. Like, they don't seem to have many creatures that can double block it. Let's take out the Seer. All right, this is pretty much what you expect, right? Oh, I kept seven. I will keep six. Um, yeah, we'll put the bird back for now. This hand's actually pretty good. Oh, wow. Got him back anyway. Hey, cute bird. I'm actually going to play this. We have no four drop right now, so I'd rather keep up divide. And then we can play this on four into this guy on five. Plus, we have a ton of three drops, so it's very likely we could hit, like, a frost bird. I'm going to bounce this now because they can't replay it with only one planes, and they don't have a creature to put a counter on, so... Sure, I'll get environmental. I have... <laughs> my, my threats are really good, so... They always take my bird, man. Oh, why didn't I play this? Fuck, I'm stupid. It doesn't matter. We're just going to play this. But still, like, this is a totally beneficial turn to play that. Oh, that's really frustrating. I wish I wasn't such a dumb dumb. Like that though. Hmm. 
I actually just want to kind of kill this to keep putting pressure on. And like they, if they just gonna waste one of their, one of their counters, then it's fine. I mean, next turn we get to create about burst something. That's pretty cool too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're gonna despark this, so that's gonna be unfortunate. Blank it. I mean. Tempted to just kill this and then get in there for two. I think that's got to be better than dealing five to the face, especially with the amount of... Frosty. Let's take Snow Day. <laughs> oh, boy. In? Are they just gonna? You think they're gonna flunk this guy? No. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a white here, I guess. End the turn. I just don't need to use this yet. Like this is, I mean, they're at nine, which is a three turn clock and I can tap them down for two turns with a snow day here. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I feel like this could be a three Oh, but they discarded one of my birds. And I think we, Oh, actually we played environmental sciences. So it's very possible. The other bird is much closer than the bottom. So, so you had a snow day. No, no, no. Yeah, no blocks. Hmm. Snap. Should I go to six? Why? This is weird. I'm tempted to play Mountain here just because we can scry. I think that's more important. I think getting used to this turn, like it, we're, if we snow day, we're likely to hit a land anyway, and we probably don't need two cards. So I think the scrying is just having active scrying is just pretty important right now. So I'm okay with it. So I'm all right in. Oh, I cannot believe there's a pioneer key. We're going to be doing that. Um, sure. Get that guy out of here. Ooh, pop quiz, hot shot. Interesting. So that's funny because I actually kind of want to discard pop quiz here. 
that any target? Oh, I think we just win here. Oh, baby. <laughs> Got he. I'll get this one. 3-0. Nailed it. Nailed it. A little frustrating at times, but ultimately we did it. Feels good. We're going to open some packs before we go. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to support the channel somehow. Like I said, I have a move coming up in the next the next month. It's going to be pricey and stressful. So if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider doing that. You can subscribe. You can donate. Follow. All the things. And uh, it's really, really appreciated. Harness Infinity. Mine's Desire. Okay. This is my first Radiant Scroll wielder of like 400 packs I've opened. Oh well. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.